Artwork, critiques, Photoshop files and reference sheets are all available on my Patreon. Well hello there you delicious Glade plugins, I hope you're all doing bloody well. My name's Mikey and welcome along to another episode of Draw with Mikey, episode 106. For those of you who are a bit new around here, hello and welcome, thank you very much for clicking in. Um, this is the super casual midweek series where basically I just kind of stop and take an opportunity to touch bases back with you guys, the viewers, and I do this by reading through the comment section, so if you've got an opinion on something or want to ask me a question or anything like that, get yourself in the comment section below, and with any luck, I'll be reading it next week around. And of course, that is um, assuming that I actually get a, you know, a video uploaded next week and actually get things done on time. A little bit all over the place in this Christmas period. Also, by the way, this is a really rough round the edges series. I'm just drawing whatever in the background and maybe you guys are getting one of your own artwork in your background as well and getting your own lives sorted, which is great because then we're kind of all doing art together, but all over the globe, you kind of get the vibe by now. Also, if you haven't already, I do recommend a cup of tea if you can manage it. Let me just have a sip. Mm. So guys, um. Oh, my voice feels really weird today, so this might be like a bit all over the place. But before I dive in and start reading through your comments, let's just talk about a few uh, really quick things. Now, I know this is old news, guys, but YouTube Rewind came out and obviously it was hated. This is absolutely fantastic in my book. Um, so what's going on there? YouTube Rewind, for those of you who don't know, is basically just a video that YouTube makes that basically just celebrates the year that it's just had. Unfortunately, um, from a creator's perspective and anybody who's kind of like a, a fan of creators and doesn't you doesn't just use YouTube really casually, but kind of hangs out here a lot, um, basically knows that <clears throat> Back in the days of, say, 2010 to 2013, the sweet spot of old YouTube, uh, it used to be a place where people could create their own content and just reach an audience and just do stuff. There's all sorts of niche things going on and all sorts of, you know, people being expressive in all sorts of different uh, ways, which is what YouTube used to celebrate, which is the backbone of what it was. These days, YouTube has changed completely, and now it's a very much a corporate entity that wants to be as middle of the road and as safe as possible. And the only things that it likes to promote are like, you know, the Jimmy Kimmel show and stuff like that. And it kind of turns its back on its creators a bit. Um, so this most recent YouTube Rewind video, what might be new news to you guys, because I know it came out last week. As of me recording this, that video has 9 million dislikes, and I'm one of them. 9 million! Who would have thought it? Um, which is fantastic, because obviously YouTube starts with celebrating with Will Smith and uh, Ninja. Well done, you've got a TV actor and, or a film actor, I should say. Well, I've just done Will Smith a disservice here. Um, and you've got a Twitch streamer as the main kind of leads. And basically everybody just fucking hated it because uh, it was for one place that everybody could collectively just express their frustration at YouTube over this year because they've just been so bad. And also really uncommunicative and straight up lying as well. From the uh, perspective, and I know I've, I've complained about this to you guys before, but YouTube famously um, is very bad at communicating anything consistently or even following its own rules. So um, they had this... Hoorah a while ago where um, people were saying, if you demonetize one of my videos, this is us to YouTube, then are you also no longer promoting it and no longer putting it in people's suggested feeds and stuff like that? And YouTube said, no, if your um, video isn't uh, monetized, that doesn't affect how we promote it. And obviously people turned around and proved that that was a straight up bare faced lie with their own analytics reports provided by YouTube. So everyone's just like, fuck. I can't even trust what this platform tells me as a content creator. No no wonder people are so frustrated. Anyway, I won't go right down there. What I strongly recommend is if you haven't already, look at that YouTube Rewind video and just read the comment section. It is, it has everything that it's got to say there. So anyway, that's out, that's great. Everybody's turned around to YouTube and just said, fuck, stop fucking us. <laughs> no one likes it. No one wants your whitewashed, my fart smell of gold version of what you'd like people to think your year was because that wasn't what the year was okay the year on youtube was not will smith and fortnite dances the year on youtube has been a controversial mess this year anyway anyway that's uh, as far as a rant as i'm gonna go i just wanted to get it off my chest oh also secondly 
talk about things that nobody wants. Um, have you guys seen this? It makes me laugh thinking about it. Have you seen this uh, teaser poster? They're doing like a Sonic movie or a Sonic animation. And oh my God, seriously, get yourself on Twitter and look for, I don't know who's doing it, if it's Paramount Pictures or somebody, but look for the, the official Sonic teaser and then just read through the comment section of that. This is great. I feel like we're entering a phase now where everybody's more and more comfortable with the idea of giving negative feedback to something the moment we see that it looks like it's going to be a pile of shit. So anyway, it looks like they made this new redesign of Sonic. A bit like, um, so they've made, they're making that film, right, with all of the Pokemon, um, but a live action film. Imagine that they've tried doing that with Sonic the Hedgehog, except like it, it's more of a David Cronenberg nightmare or that scene from Alien Resurrection where um, Ripley finds all of the failed clones and there's one tied to the gurney and it's just like, kill me. It's that kind of vibe. Um, but basically, I've just, because what that did is it reminded me of um, that part of the internet that even I don't like. So obviously I do appreciate, I do a lot of um, anime style, uh, very risky fan arts and stuff like that. So I know that there's a big crowd here and a lot of them probably, you know, hentai fans and stuff like that. And this is a completely safe space and a no judgment zone. So none of that's an issue. But in that crowd is going to be the subgenre of people who are really into their pregnant Sonic fan art and their My Little Pony clopping groups and stuff like that. Which, again, if that's your vibe, it's, you know, it's better than punching people in real life. So live your dreams. Um, but personally, it's not really my thing. And I'm quite sick of all of that stuff. So, like, uh, when I saw that Sonic thing, I was like, right, I'm going to do just um, an ironic Sonic chan. You know, like a kind of fuck this shit, I'm sick of everything, kill me sort of thing. And now that I've drawn it, and by the way, this is what you're seeing in the background. Now that I've drawn it, I'm not sure if it looks ironic enough or if it looks like I am just doing some um, gender bend Sonic fan art. But hopefully you'll kind of understand where I'm coming from on that. Anyway, uh, what am I getting at? Basically, that's just my way of explaining why am I doing this? Why am I putting tits on a Sonic girl character? That's why, because I just wanted to sort of say, fuck, stop making these things. Anyway, am I part of a problem? Oh, shit. Oh my god, my eyes are open. I think I'm part of a problem. Anyway, let's read your comments. That's the main point of this whole series. Um, oh my god, first comment is somebody whose name is in Japanese, so bear with. Uh, De... Deas... Jeremy. Deas... Jeremy. Deas... Oh, fuck. Jeremy. Jeremy Deas, right? Or Jeremy Diaz? Anyway. Uh, what are you saying? Mikey is a good YouTuber to listen to whilst drawing or other forms of art activities. Oh, brilliant. I'm glad I bothered translating that. That's really kind. Who else agrees? You continue to save 24 likes. Thank you, you 24 people. That's really, really kind. I do hope you find any of the content I do on this channel, whether or not it's YouTube, uh, whether or not it's for tutorials or just for rambling, talking stuff. If it's anything that you kind of listen to or watch whilst you get your own artwork done, that makes me a really happy man. Because um, I do like that sort of thing myself. Uh, Jacques Dupont says, Mikey, hello, Jacques. You helped me learn how to draw sexy chicks these past two years. Thank you. You're welcome. There we go. Perfect example. Because I'm going to, that's it. I'm going to draw some boobs, right? I'm going to sneak you in, going to get you to click on this channel. And before you know it, I've gotten you into drawing in a very general sense. That's what I want to do. I just want to make people draw. Not force them at gunpoint. Um, but, you know, definitely encourage it if anybody's ever curious. If you haven't already and you're listening to this, why not grab yourself a pencil and some cheap printer paper, anything that's lying around. Just draw and relax and don't worry about it being good. Just enjoy the process because it's really therapeutic, man. Anyway, um, thanks, Jax. Game On says, who loves Mikey? <laughs> Game On just says, who loves Mikey? <laughs> that's very kind. I'm assuming that's a statement and not like a question. Like, as in, who the hell loves Mikey? I'm sure it's more of a, oh, who loves Mikey? Thank you. That's really kind. Anyway, uh, Infernal Snow Art says, Hey, was waiting for this in your style. Oh, thank you, Infernal. Um, that is the... Oh, KDA. Akali. Akali. Um, neon uh, bit that we did last time. I was just playing around with the colour palette more than anything. But thank you very much. And Axio Watt says, Yo, Mikey. Hello, Axio. Congrats on 400k subs. <gasps> Guys! Axio, thank you very much for reminding me. Uh, and before the end of the year, hashtag hardcore crew. Thank you so much. Guys, oh my god, you know what? I, I was so <laughs> I was so wrapped up in that Sonic thing that I completely forgot we've hit 400,000 subscribers on the channel. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Wow, what a fantastic thing. Things will never be the same. That is just for where it is. Um, obviously, it's kind of 50-50. I need to make content that um, 
is good enough that people are actually going to watch it and click that sub button, but the other half is all you guys, right? I wouldn't be here doing this if it wasn't for you guys following along and just being really kind about all that sort of stuff. So thank you so much. Let us all celebrate together um, in a very vague sense right now. Pat yourself on the back if you can, or just sip some tea. That's what I'm going to do. Mm. Oh my god, I really haven't focused on that subs thing because I've been so up in the air this Christmas period. What am I going to... Oh god, we're doing a tablet giveaway. There we go. Let's say it's um, to celebrate 400k subs. For those of you who haven't seen it in another video, you can win an XP Pen Artist 12 graphics drawing tablet. Uh, it's a lovely piece of kit simply by following me on Instagram, uh, liking the Ash fan art piece that I did, and commenting in the comment section uh, who you'd like to see me draw next. And I'll pick a winner uh, worldwide at the end of the month. Fantastico! We're back with the tablet giveaways. It's been a good old while um, because, my God, we used to do so many. And, uh, yeah, getting in a vibe. I like it. Anyway, yeah, God. Oh, that completely wasn't on my mind. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love it. Thank you, guys. Anyway, let's get back to it. Kazaki-chan says, Hey Mikey! Hello Kazaki-chan! New fan! Well, in that case, welcome! I've been learning so much from you and my artwork is getting so much better. Ah, oh, good news! And Wood Wood says, Hey Mikey! Hello Wood Wood! How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad, dude. I'm just waking up with a cup of tea. Uh, in a very general sense, I'm trying to work out what's going on in my life because I'm still in a house that I didn't expect to be living in by now and I'm trying to work out if I'm saving up for a holiday or if I'm saving up for a mortgage. But other than that, I can't really complain. Uh, you continue to say that I've never played for PlayStation 1, so I have no idea what it's like. You have missed out, good sir. Um, that is in reference to me asking you guys about... Oh, yeah, so... Obviously, the NES Mini and the uh, SNES Mini were some great uh, kind of revamping Christmas gifts that are really popular, and PlayStation finally jumped on a bandwagon and made the PlayStation Mini. I should say Sony jumped on a bandwagon. Um, but obviously... Uh, nobody's really into it because the selection of the games is awful. Um, it's like the 50 Hertz PAL original visuals as well. It, like it hasn't been cleaned up or tidied or anything. And everybody's basically saying, why should I buy this? When there's just so many better options. Like most people have a PlayStation emulator on their phone for God's sakes. Um, so yeah, that really didn't kind of uh, bump off people's things. So I wanted to hear your um, own personal versions of what are the best of the best PS1 games as well. Anyway, uh, you continue to say Stan was a pretty big inspiration to me. Right next to Hayao Miyazaki, Tetsuo Nomura, and my own mother. And a lot of other people. Oh, I really like that you've got your mum in there as well. I'm assuming you're talking about Stan Lee, by the way. Uh, Stan inspired me to go into comics. I used to want to only write novels, but it turns out I prefer visual storytelling for my own stories. Oh, good, man. Uh, after you complete Shadow of the Colossus, I suggest The Last Guardian, which is in the same series as Shadow and one of my all-time favourite games. Love your art. Hashtag hardcore crew. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, so I must have said then, uh, in the last EWM, but I picked up a couple of games, including Spidey and Shadow of the Colossus for the PS4. So I'm going to be playing those live on Twitch over this Christmas period. Why not pop in when I'm there on live and say hello as well? Uh, and yeah, I need to um, grab some other of my old video games because I do want to just really dive in over this Christmas window once I've got all of my tablet reviews and art stuff out of the way. Um, yeah, so The Last Guardian is the one where you play as a kid, right? Um, but there's this giant... Um, cross between a coyote and a ferret with wings that kind of joins you on the journey or something. I think I know what you're talking about. It does look curious. Uh, Punisher says, Konnichiwa in Japanese. Well done. And also, oh my god, I failed for No Nuts November. Oh my god. Punisher, did you splooge when you should have rubed? Uh, Zerve Swerve says, Mikey, what's your favourite sad anime? Uh, a silent voice, your name? And in brackets, I'm not literally asking your name, just the name of the anime. Zerve Swerve, hello. And... That's a pretty good question. Sad anime. Sad? You know what? I don't... I don't think I have one. Oh, let me give you a bit of context. Um, as much as I love anime, I love um, really incredible visuals, and I think, like, the world building you get to some stuff is fantastic, and then you've got, like, you know, Ghibli movies and stuff like that with loads of heart as well. However... When you watch an anime movie, you're not watching a real person, right? You're just watching a load of colours and lines and cell shaded things to represent a person. So you have to mentally project human emotions onto what you're visually seeing because they don't actually exist, right? And because of that, I prefer, when it comes to slice of life stuff, any dramas, anything that's like romantic or emotional, um, I much prefer um, live action movies and live action television and stuff like that because... Um, and don't get me wrong, there are 
hun- thankfully hundreds and hundreds of examples to that, but I'm just talking very, very, very generally, in that uh, I find it much easier to connect with real actors conveying emotions and real people on that level than I do for anime characters, especially when you've got like a slice of life anime, but like there's barely any actual animation and you can't even tell the characters apart except from the colour of their hair. Um, whereas you get really fantastic animes where the visuals and battles and stuff say, uh, just watch, I'll tell you what really does it for me, just watch any kind of Neon Genesis Evangelion AMV, like uh, the Suicide Boys one is fucking incredible. That's what kind of um, wets my whistle. Uh, So in a very similar vein, because of that, there's loads of fantastic anime that's got sad moments in it and bittersweet stuff, definitely, but um, just sad for sad sake, not massively my bag. Somebody else, a streamer on Twitch, has been recommending that I look at a few, um, but I haven't got to them yet. Zerv Swerve, what are yours? Is it a silent voice in your name? Who knows? Uh, Space Duck says, listening whilst I'm cooking twice baked potatoes for Thanksgiving. Yum. Uh, since you're drawing Akali, did you like that song? It's K-pop. So did it pique your interest in the genre, if you weren't already interested? And also during Thanksgiving and Christmas, my grandnan makes, oh, I love you said grandnan, makes Sorel. It's boiled hibiscus and ginger. Sorel? Isn't Sorel like a leafy vegetable? Anyway, with Jamaican white rum, oh hello, for those of you old enough to adult responsibly, and it's so good, I highly suggest trying some. Cheers! Space Duck, I will have to look into that, because I'm pretty sure what you've just described to me is a leafy vegetable cooked in rum, which probably isn't what you mean, and then served with ginger or something, but I'll have to, uh, yeah, I'll have to look into that. Anyway, twice baked potatoes, yes, fantastic, and um, that KDA music video was fucking incredible, oh, it was so good. I really liked it. Um, But no, it didn't get me into K-pop. I don't mind some K-pop, but I'm definitely not like a fan. I couldn't name you many, if any, K-pop bands, except for Kill Death Assist now. Um, And it's not something that really pumps me. But I've heard plenty of tracks I love. I just, it's not on my radar to look it up out of my way. Hmm. So yeah, it's not quite done it, Space Duck, even though the visuals were fantastical. Dandelion T says, wow, I drew her yesterday. Oh my God, I'm losing my voice, guys. I can feel it. Yeah, in um, relationship to Acolyte, fantastic. And also, I love the intro. Thank you, Dandelion. Uh, Zineb Zabara Zabara, oh my god, I hope I haven't just like summoned a demon or something, says, cool, I love your style. Thank you, Zineb. And Brussels Draws says, please do a tutorial on Photoshop CS5. Brussels, um, I'm not going to go into any CS version other than just say Photoshop generally, um, because, you know, it's all still going, going to apply. But um, yeah, more Photoshop tutorials are coming. Obviously, I've done a couple so far, and I'm going to kind of split that from the normal pencil and paper stuff. So that going into next year, and again, these are my dreams, but reality catches up with me and makes me do other stuff, obviously. But um, because that sort of stuff happens on a Saturday, <clears throat> I was thinking every month could be like, uh, we'll do one fan art, uh, one digital, and two pencil and paper, or, you know, vice versa, two digital and one pencil and paper tutorials, just so that I'm constantly rotating things and keeping it interesting for the weekend slots as we move forward. But, yeah, um, you're going to see more and more digital stuff, most certainly. Uh, Foz Tacticus says, Yes, Mikey, you bought the Kindle with special offers with adverts, which is about £10 cheaper than without. Oh, fuck. Foz, don't trigger me, okay? You guys have all heard my opinion about that Amazon situation last week, and I don't want to go back down that rabbit hole. Uh, once you connected to the internet for the first time, the adverts downloaded. In future, choose the Kindle, ebook, and Fire without the special offers to ensure that you do not have any adverts. Thank you, Foss Tacticus. That's really helpful for me now that we're past that situation. But, oh, my God. Yeah, oh, God. If you've um, not heard last week, just go toward, I don't know, two-thirds of the way through, and you're going to hear my opinions on Amazon and the, what they're doing with the Kindle. Oh, I'm getting angry. No, I'm going to calm it, but I can feel myself boiling. Thanks for bringing it up. Uh, Bralin Emilio says, um, Eres, oh, eres un dios mi buen amigo. Eres un dios. Like, dios mio? I'm a god, my good friend? Oh, no, I'm not. <gasps> Blasphemer. 
No, I'm not. But thank you so much. I think because yeah, my Spanish and uh, Portuguese isn't fantastic. I think Braylin has just said something really, really fucking kind about my godlike levels. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> I wish you all the best. At Naoko126 says, So, most of the games I'd ask for are already getting remade or having HD remakes. But if I had to pick one that I truly love, it's Legend of Dragoon. Oh, is that the um, RPG with the Lancers? Um, your Final Fantasy will always be Square Enix's go-to game, but Legend of Dragoon was absolutely amazing. Dude, I vaguely remember the existence of that. I'm just going to pop that in a notepad file to look up later. Dude, now okay. Nice shout. Suave Salamander, Suave Salamander says, Happy birthday, Mikey. Well, thank you very much, good sir. That was quite a while ago in November. But yeah, I moved from going... Oh, wait. I've changed from being a guy in his early 30s to being a guy in his mid-30s. So, you know ring a bell and press F for respects and all that sort of stuff because again my life is just over but thank you very much nonetheless and Muffin Guy says wow nice Spanish <laughs> just after I've explained how bad I am at it and great video Miguel Mega Mega saludos de Mexico oh Muffin Guy thank you saludos uh, desde England uh, J Ves is blessed says it's nice to kind of hear you rant or give your thoughts about things whilst I'm drawing it's kind of satisfying and it helps me think of uh, a new goddess for the next season <laughs> oh, thank you very much um I don't personally enjoy being triggered too much. I do get triggered a bit easily on some things. Like, I'm, I'm a bit polar, I'm starting to suspect. I am, in a general sense, relatively quiet and quite happy-go-lucky. But then once I get triggered, I'm just like, I'm right down Rant Alley and I'm down there hard. Also, speaking of Resident Evil, I just recently uh, watched gameplays for Resident Evil 1 to 4 in a matter of three days. Sleep is truly for the weak. Ooh, dude, you're hardcoring it. Yeah, I've never played 4. Um, I recently watched, uh, talking about Twitch streamers all the time these days, uh, another Twitch streamer play Resident Evil 4, but I only watched like parts of it. So I'm still quite keen to give that game a go. Just not this winter period. I hear it is really good though. And Soul Gamer says... <laughs> Oops. Let's talk about Article 13. Oh my god. I'm not even going to talk about Article 13 other than... If you're on YouTube, you've probably seen YouTube worrying about Article 13. Uh, and, you know, it turns out I am going to talk about it. This is my super simple interpretation. And this is why I'm kind of both um, mildly concerned and also so tired of all these internet changes and the loss of internet freedoms and the way that just all these platforms are moving. I'm kind of like just giving into it now and just ready to die. Basically, um, the way things are right now is that if I upload a movie to YouTube, which I shouldn't do because I don't own the copyrights to it, say I've just uploaded Avengers, um, then I can get that taken down, obviously, but I can also get in trouble with the copyrights holder, like, you know, um, Paramount or some other studio, obviously we're talking about Marvel here, uh, could sue me or get me in trouble. So that's one thing, obviously, the onus is on me. After Article 13, as far as Europe's concerned, I don't think it's the same for America. Basically, if I upload a movie to YouTube, the platform that then allows that movie to be there, YouTube can get in trouble instead. And as you might imagine, a massive company <clears throat> is a bit of a juicier target for a studio than I might be, because I don't have millions of pounds to get sued for. But YouTube probably does, even though YouTube barely makes a profit. Um, so YouTube's just like, oh shit, this means like we're responsible. Um, so YouTube is obviously uh, sending all these, and it's only because I'm so sick of YouTube, I'm not really on their side anymore, even though they actually have a really good point here. I just, I'm just, I don't want to be on their bandwagon anymore. Anyway, so YouTube's freaking out and they're just like, quick, tell everybody about Article 13. And it's like, yeah, there's loads of videos about it, but great, I'm not going to do anything about it. What do you expect? And there's no, it doesn't even say like, you need to go to your MPs and let them know and stuff. It just complains about Article 13 coming in. So yeah, there might be some changes. As a European, um, my channel might disappear from the Americans. YouTube might get split down the middle. Honestly, do I think any of that's going to happen? No, I really don't. I think I'm personally going to see very little change uh, if I have to be sceptical about things. Um, hopefully that's going to be the case. You never know, it might be the end of everything, but I just honestly don't think it is. Uh, that being said, let's get back to the comment section. Uh, Gus Schoen, Soul Gamer, you did make me talk about it. Uh, Gus Schoenmaker says, Dear Mikey, hello Gus, I really, really love your drawings, mate. Oh, thank you. Uh, keep up the good work. Seiko Busujima hasn't been on this channel yet, I think. I do love High School of the Dead, so maybe an idea. Did I do her? Is she the one with brunette hair? Because um, I think I have done her. But if she's not, then that is a great idea, Gus. And if I have done it, it was ages ago anyway. Uh, so let's add her in. Just grabbing up that notepad file really quickly. 
mercy. And a fox soul says, oh my fucking god, so beautiful. Thank you very much, fox soul. ZB Bunny says, hey Mikey, hello ZB. Have you seen the trailer for the next Avengers movie? It's Avengers Endgame, like part two to Infinity War. ZB Bunny, I have. I've watched the trailer that's just... Um, Tony Stark recording his last message on the helmet, if that's the one you guys are talking about. Oh my god. There's a part of me that would have just loved it if Marvel never never made another movie again. And that was literally the end, they just all died. But, yeah, I'm so fucking up for seeing this film. They don't even have to make a trailer. Do you know what I mean? They just have to tell us what date the movie comes out now, and we're all gonna go fucking watch it, right? Yeah, looking forward to that. Also, guys, for those of you who might not know, um, obviously, I love the drawing and stuff, and one of the other things I tend to do a lot is uh, watch films and talk about them. So I do have another YouTube channel called Film Cram, and what I'm hopefully going to, because I'm at the moment I'm still cramming all of the great, cramming Game of Thrones, I should say. I've got season seven to cram down this Christmas, but um, next year, with any luck, touch wood, I'm going to cram all of the Marvel movies into ten minute long catch ups, um, leading up to uh, Avengers five. Is it? Avengers 4? Anyway, uh, so yeah, give that a click. Go have a look. There's probably no links. Um, wait, what are we talking about? Basically, yes. Uh, the Marvel world and those films are definitely something I'm going to be diving into. And I'm going to basically rewatch and cram down every Marvel movie between now and then. Um, uh, oh, Earl Adrastos says, Can you draw some characters in Skullgirls? Skullgirls. Skullgirls. Somebody else has mentioned this. And I keep getting confused with Suicide Girls. So let me just type Skull Girls into uh, Google real quick. Skull Girls. Because I remember last person who mentioned this, and I was just like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, yeah, the fighting game. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Got that in. Thank you very much. That's on the suggestions list, Earl. And LYH says, Mikey, I'm quite to like your videos, but it's too long. I've no enough time to watch. LYH, I completely understand. Um, this midweek series isn't supposed to be... So, oh God, YouTube. So guys, if you want to be clever on YouTube and do things well and have really good explosive growth, uh, make a load of videos which are barely just over 10 minutes long, not any longer. Make a video every single day. Do not worry about the quality of the content whatsoever. Just keep uploading rubbish. And if you do that, you're going to blow up out of nowhere. It's going to be great. Um, but I don't quite do that. So uh, yeah, this series is always going to be probably around about an hour long unless we actually make it longer, if anything, um, because I want to sit here and read your comments long form. I know it's not very smart. Genuinely, it hurts the analytics on my channel. Um, because not many people want to click on a video that's nearly an hour long. Completely understandably, I don't have an issue with it. Um, whenever these videos come out, then YouTube, it lowers how much they promote some of my next videos and stuff. And I could either worry about that or I could be happy. And I'd rather do it than not do it and actually talk to you guys. So that's that's where it's going to be. Long videos are here to stay for a while, good sir. Uh, Devin Giles says, please be paint Litchi Fei Ling from Blast Blue. Oh my goodness. I do not know who that is. I'm going to add her to the list. Thank you very much. I won't look her up just let just yet. And Patience Illustration says, I'm always so happy when I see a DWM. Oh, thank you. I'm always so guilty when I do it because I keep missing ones. Uh, I just started taking my art to the next level. Oh, nice one. And selling stroke doing commissions. I'm really scared but also happy. GG, Patience. Let me know how you get on. Uh, Devin Giles says, also, can you do stroke draw a speed paint Momo from, oh, Boku no Hero Academia. Yeah, she's on the list, man. Don't worry. Um, uh, Todoroki Jackal Jinja Akira, in a mixture of Japanese and English, says, hey, Mikey. Hello there. I was wondering if you had any insight on how to draw of a mouse and if you've ever done it before. Oh, my God. Yeah, I have tried drawing of a mouse before, and then I think I nearly killed myself. Um, you can do it. Um, but I'm not going to teach you because I don't want to give it a try. There is an artist called Simpsons Artist, who I think draws of a mouse, uh, which is very, very good. And, oh my god, there's another guy who does these incredible... Oh, shit. Hmm. Bear with, I'm just going to Google something. Basically, the only one that comes to mind is Naked David Cameron fan art. So I'm just going to Google that. Because of any luck, it's going to take me to a particular artist I'd love to let you know about. Um... Oh, way more Google results to that inquiry <laughs> than I suspected. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Okay, that's not done the trick. There is an artist, oh, fuck, who will draw anything. So, like, you say... 
Oh, Jim will draw it. There we go. So you say, like, dear Jim, please draw me a picture of David Cameron having a an emotional meltdown in the middle of the Starbucks. And he'll he'll draw that. And he does it all with a mouse on Microsoft Paint. Jim, Jim will draw it. There we go. Jim will draw it. And was that right? Just Googling it. Yeah, that's right. Guys, just Google Jim will draw it. He is an incredible individual. And he only uses the shitter software. And he only uses a mouse. It's mind blowing. It's like some of his creations are incredible. Oh, that's my recommendation for the day. Absolutely. You're welcome, society. You're welcome. Uh, Colby Senior says, "Hey, Mikey. Hello, Colby. Uh, been such a long time since I've watched one of your DWMs. Well, welcome back. No worries. You can go live your life. It's okay. Um, Got to love life at the moment. Oh, brilliant. Been drained of inspiration though, so I looked at your tutorials and now I've found encouragement to do art again. Thank you, good sir. P.S. Taps tea mug. I'm always prepared." <gasps> Good lad. Let me sip this. Mm. Danny Play Stuff says, Hey Mikey, how are you doing? Oh, Danny, I think I answered that question a bit earlier. But yeah, not too bad. How are you? Uh, I was wondering if you know about Jamie Hewlett. As a huge fan of his art style, I wondered if you also knew about him. Maybe you could do a tutorial in his style. No, not off the top of my head. Or at least um, it doesn't ring any bells. Let's just go into Google. Images. Oh, right. He's done, like, um, the gorillas style of artwork and stuff like that. He's incredible. Yeah, he's really, really good. But, mmm. I don't really draw that way. I don't know if I could... don't think I'm the right guy to ask for that. I've neither the skill nor experience. I'd just be talking out my ass. Although I'd love to draw more in his style. He's got this really angular stuff that I really love. I love it when people can just build in angles these days. I'm getting a little bit too curvy of my women that I keep drawing all the time. And I do want to... I do want to, like, see the shapes inside of a person and kind of bring that out more in a bit more of a style. But, you know, that's just, you always want to be whatever you're not. The grass is always greener. Uh, no, but I will have a look at Danny Play stuff and see what we can come up with. Maybe for a future DWM, I'll just fill up a sketchbook page or something. Uh, B-Man Illustration says, hello, Mikey. Hello there, B-Man. I had a great Inktober and there were times when I fell back. I missed some days, but I got through all of it and had fun. Brilliant. That's the whole point, right? I did Five Night at Freddy's, or FNAF for short, and this year's Inktober had learned a lot. As for the question of PS1 games, Crash, yep, Crash Bandicoot's fantastic. Spyro, um, I've never actually played that, although I'm kind of curious because they remade it, didn't they? Uh, Final Fantasy VII, excellent. Tuma, I'm assuming you're talking about Tomb Raider. Gran Turismo, nah, Gran Turismo 2 is better. Resident Evil 2, fantastic selection. Parappa the Rapper, great game. Silent Hill, fucking scary. God, when I went to university, um, I had a TV in my room back when we were in kind of halls of residence, and one of my friends bought up his PlayStation from home, his PS1, with Silent Hill. Uh, but because he didn't have a TV, he left it around mine. And I was too scared to play that game. So he... I, I All I saw of Silent Hill 1... I tried. I have played Silent Hill 2. But back in the day, Silent Hill 1, he used to play it in the middle of the night. And I used to just be in bed watching from under the duvet. Because that game was fucking terrifying! A PlayStation 1 game with barely any graphics. And it was one of the scariest experiences of my life. Oh my god, I feel you. Anyway, great selection. Metal Gear Solid, yep. Tony Hawk's 2, yep. Time Crisis... I'm not really sold on Time Crisis, to be honest. Uh, Brave Fence Masassi, don't really know it. Tekken 3, obviously. Monster Racer, Street Fighter Alpha, good. Crash Team Racing, maybe. Eh. Pizza Hut demos, what? Nope. And so on. Anyway, B-Man, thank you very much. That is a great selection of games. Uh, the Wise Koala says, For one thing I hate is the fact that I can't work on my art to improve in peace. My parents constantly calling me in, including homework, and also taking mind that I'm a little feeble-minded. Not much, just like 5%, but still any tips on how to get around? The Wise Koala, you can count me in on 5% feeble-mindedness as well. I'm definitely not quite as sharp as I used to be. I wish that was a joke, but I'm pretty sure it's actually quite true. Um, my parents constantly calling me in, including homework. The wise koala, get your homework done. Dude, seriously, like, look after your future and actually learn stuff. Um, whatever your thoughts are on schooling is one thing, but education is a completely different matter. I do strongly recommend education in whatever form you can get it. Um, so, yeah, get it out of the way. Uh, is there a time in the day when your parents just aren't in and you've got a quiet moment to do the artwork? Or maybe you can just fit it in on your lunch break? It's tough. It's tough finding that moment and putting it aside, but having the opportunity to have an undisturbed run at doing some artwork does kind of let you get in a zone. I do know the struggle, a oh, wise koala. All the best. Faltora says, hi. Hello, Faltora. I just realized I left a comment on your 20th video from two years ago. <laughs> Whoopsie. 
<laughs> Valtora, thanks for getting involved. You might find that I'm never going to answer it. I just wanted to thank you. I found a video in your channel and uh, tonight whilst I had trouble relaxing and getting anything done anywhere. But just listening in and drawing meanwhile helped a lot. Ah! Oh! That's so nice to hear. Thanks for saying that. I really appreciate that. Um, so, now I'm watching this one too, doing the exact same thing. Yeah, welcome to modern day. Thanks for catching up. Uh, thanks and you're awesome. Oh, you're too kind. No, that's really, really kind of you. Uh, yeah, that's the whole point of this kind of stuff. That's great. Uh, oh, I actually put a smile on my face. Walpole v. Everywhere. Uh, let me try that one again. Walpole v. Everywhere. How are we doing for time? Oh, no, we're fine. Says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Walpole. Glad to hear that you're well and to see you drawing still. Oh, yeah, I'm still at it. Uh, to me, no country for old men is a contemporary western. Thank you very much for agreeing with me. Uh, the genre conventions in a modern setting. If you're looking for more of that, check out uh, the series Justified and Longmire. Oh, no, I've watched Justified with Deputy Marshal. I, I forget his name. I want to say Waylon Reigns or something like that. Is it Waylon? Yeah. Nah, Justified is well good. Oh, man, I haven't watched that for a very, very long time. Uh, Longmire, I have no idea about, though, so I'm going to copy this. Actually, no, let's just let's go straight. I'm curious. Let's go straight to Google. Based on Walt Longmire mystery novels. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a look. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, did I mention last time, if we start playing Red Dead 2 um, on Twitch going into next year, then I'm going to go hardcore Western style. I'm going to watch loads of Western films and have opinions and stuff like that. A recent period Western I also recommend is Bone Tomahawk. Oh, somebody was recommending that to me a while ago. They are saying it was really grim or had like a really shocking ending or something. Yeah, I'm down for that. Wait, is Bone Tomahawk the right one that I'm thinking about? I think that's the one. Anyway, uh, my recommendation this week is the YouTube channel Internet Today for a taste of hosts of Ricky and Elliot's opinion-based comedy news. Watch any of their weekly weird news segments. Okay, Internet Today. That's a lot of suggestions. Thank you very much for the comment. I've added all of them to my notepad. Let's continue on. Kevin Smith says, ha ha ha. I've not heard... That's probably not the best way to read it. I don't think you meant it like that, sarcastically. I've not heard you swear. Do you... Oh, right. I've not heard you swear as much as when you were talking about Amazon. You're not alone. I hate online help desks. Yeah, yeah, again, that was just a problem. Uh, also, rest in peace, Stan Lee. I was gutted when I heard the news at 1am coming back from a Slayer concert. <gasps> Are you flexing going to Slayer on us? That is awesome. Um, the last one I'll ever have in the UK ever. Oh, dude. Yeah, strange times. Also, just a quick anime recommendation. Thank you, I'll take it. Would be that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Only has eight episodes, but I'm typing... As I'm typing, but it is amazing in my opinion, with good laughs, cool and interesting action scenes and fan service. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Gracias por la suggestión. Uni Puppy says, how about you do a Christmas fit girl? I don't know if we're going to fit one in, Uni. That's not a bad idea, but like, oh, I'm a bit back to back at the moment. Oh, we should push for it. You're right. And Crim Sanity says, hello, Mikey. Hello, Crim Sanity. I don't know if you remember, at some point during your streams, I talked how about I didn't, I talked about how I didn't have a legitimate copy of Clip Studio Paint. Um, but now that Black Friday came, I bought it. Yeah, guys, this is a thing. Clip Studio Paint is great. Um, it's a one-off payment unlike Photoshop. Have I said this before? And sometimes they uh, discount the price. And if they do, go ahead and snap that shit up, guys. I, I haven't even used it yet, but I've seen so many other great artists I respect do great work with it. Um, snap it up. Anyway, you're really happy. That's good to hear, man. Crim Sanity, get yourself on the artwork. Get yourself being creative and let me know how you get on. Uh, Stabby Kara says, I'm watching your hip tutorial right now whilst listening to this. Wow. Two videos, one man. Uh, my friend loves your video tutorials. Thank you. And I don't know if that's good or bad. I could, well, good, I hope. I could request something, maybe a garnet or a rose quartz from Steven Universe or a tutorial speed paint. You know what? I keep hearing about Steven Universe and I keep seeing people do Steven Universe fan art. And I don't know anything about it, but that is one of the few just random cartoons I really, really want to watch just because I want to have a go at rendering some of those characters. Yeah, we'll have to come back to that. And Jericho Cross says, it's probably not your cup of tea, and, oh, let me just sip some tea. And uh, maybe probably you won't know the game, but it would be amazing if they brought Dark Watch back. It's my all-time favourite game that got me into gaming. Hmm, I'm going to look it up. By the way, I forgot who is 
Oh, by the way, I forgot who it was, but thank you for whomever about Media Bang. I was too scared to ask since the list is quite long already. Hashtag sip of tea, hashtag notification squad, hashtag chicken time, hashtag mega mega forever. <laughs> God. Every time I see Mega Mega Forever, I'm just constantly back to Joel Schumacher. Hashtag tutorial. Hashtag my art your design. Hashtag sorry for the essay. Wow. You're bringing up some old, my art your design. You're bringing up some old hashtags. Thank you so much, dude. Jericho. Cheers, dude. Um, Wait, what did you say? Did I just copy? Dark Watch. Okay, bear with, bear with. Sorry, guys. We're just going to go into quiet time whilst I just Google Dark Watch. I've got a lot of tabs open now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm just making noises. Uh, no, I don't know this. Hmm. I might look it up. Anyway, thank you. Let me just go back to the right thing where everybody is. Sleepy.Magi says, Notice me, senpai. Consider yourself noticed. I mean, good day, Mikey. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm so pumped that you finally uploaded a new video. Yeah, it takes me a while. I missed you. Miss you too. I want to give thanks to my sensei. Oh, you're welcome. And spread the love. Also, your Kindle story. Also, speaking of Jet Li and PlayStation, Jet Li's rise to honor. No, I've never heard that. Did Jet Li do a licensed video game? Move over Dark Watch. Let's Google search again. It's PlayStation 2, Jet Li Rise to Honor. What? What? I was a, I was quite the Jet, I was quite the Jet Li fanboy back in the day, especially around about the year of the PlayStation 2 coming out. Why have I never heard of this? Oh my god, I'm gonna be a busy boy after I'm finished <laughs> sorting out this video. Okay, let's go down. Uh, Julian Cancola says, hey Mikey, hello Julian, hope you're well, yeah, not too bad, thanks, um, nothing really to say except, have you watched, oh god, no, I've not watched Jojo Part 3, I'm not going to tell you my opinions on Jojo, you've heard it all before, but thank you very much for commenting, uh, and Alex the Great 1233 says, what's up and how's it going, dude, how the bloody hell are you, and I'm starting college back up in spring, hopefully, good luck, good sir, touch wood, um, if I get the financial aid stuff together, oh man, I wish you all the best of that, I had a friend who had some serious challenges with all of that sort of shit, um, and trying to draw more, but it is hard not only to have ideas, but also to sit down and do it, you know how it goes, yeah, yeah, everybody gets those blocks or phases, dude, absolutely, um, and that ending song, do I need to make a Christmas Mikey song, I'll sing it and make the beats with some pots, pans and a wooden spoon, no, it's fine. I'm not quite releasing my Christmas album just yet, guys. Don't you worry. I'll release it in July next year. Uh, Dennis Whitnew says, For PlayStation 1 games, I'd be picking... Oh, good. Spyro, great. Harvest Moon, strong. Bloody Raw, oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Pepsi Man, never heard of it. Digimon Adventure, yuck. Resident Evil series, yes, 1, 2, and 3. Maybe you could skip 3. And Tekken 3, absolutely. Good suggestions, good sir. And Kel says, very much. Thanks for your tutorials. Oh, Kel, you're welcome. That's... A really weird way to grammatically put that sentence together. Welcome, are you? <laughs> and Skull says, Hello, Mikey. Hello, Skull. I listened to you on a bus to college. Oh, my God. Are you listening to me right now? Um, I've been drawing again recently. My drawings are still shit, but I can see some changes in my approach that is improving them ever so slightly. Good news. Um, ever had that feeling that you're disgruntled with your drawings, but you feel you're not on the right track? Yes. Yep, that's... I don't know what to tell you, mate. You're going to have those feelings from time to time for the rest of your art life. Absolutely. It still happens to all of us. Don't worry about it. Don't feel that it's, like, just you that's fucking up or anything like that. Um, fail as quickly as you can, because it's the only way you're going to get better. Uh, Funky Caped Crusader Sonos... By the way, I just stole that from a Proco video I just watched this morning. Funky Caped Crusader Sonos Devoid of Funk. <laughs> Excellent name, good sir. Says, hello, Mike. Hello, sir. I don't usually comment on videos. Oh, well, in that case, thank you so much for stepping up. Uh, but it was nice hearing that you had a copy of the Spectrum 24 as well. Thinking about getting a Spectrum 25 myself. Anyhow, on the same note, I'm interested in what art books do you own? Oh, funky. Easy question to answer. My immediate go-to is um, Michael Hampton's Figure Drawing Design and Invention. I've got two digital art drawing books and also a book about drawing vehicles and stuff. And I haven't... Um, other than flicking through the pages, I haven't started either of them. So, A, I can't quite remember what they're called from where I'm sitting right now. And also, I don't even have opinions on them yet. But yeah, I mean, there's plenty plenty out there to enjoy. Uh, Ethan Solano says, hey, Mikey. Hello, Ethan. I really want to thank you so... God, you guys are being really nice, this comment section these days. <laughs> saying so many nice things to me. I really want to thank you so much for uploading these videos, Draw with Mikey. At the beginning, I thought they were too long. But now I, now I can say... Um, how short they are. It really helps to hear your voice in the back telling a story like the one of the customer service thing. Oh, guys, do you want to hear... Because <laughs> I've got plenty of things to complain about in life. If you want, I'll tell you more rambling stories in the future. Um, by the way, I work as a customer service representative in a call centre. Work is hilarious. Oh, Ethan, yeah, I've done plenty of call centre work in my time. 
Thank you, man. And so, oh, hello there. Sarah Burn Studio says, rest in peace for kittens. Oh, yeah, I think now, <laughs> I think I said something about punching a sack of kittens. Sarah, I hope you're doing bloody well. Uh, Nakano Lemon says, I like Derpixion. I have no idea what that is, so allow me just to control C really quickly. Just click over here. And, oh, God, let's open another tab. I nearly overwrote Jet Li's Rise to Honor, but I'm going to leave that tab open. Der pic oh, that doesn't sound good. I've put it into Google, and the first thing that's come up is Der Piction's profile from Hentai Foundry, and then the next result down is Der Piction Pornhub. So I'm not even going to click on the images tab for that one. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone for the moment. But thank you very much, Nakano. I might look at it later. Tony Torres says, Mikey, hello, Tony. Cheers to you, mate. Uh, hashtag sit back drag. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Just a sec. Hmm. There's too many games to list, but for some reason it's so hard to find Brave Fence and Mizashi. Oh, that's what somebody else mentioned earlier. So I'd definitely include that for the PS1 list. Is that the one where you have to pick your stances? Or is that something else completely? Um, you pick you pick your character, you pick what sword your character or what pole arm, and then you pick the stances that they fight in during the fighting game. Is that it? Anyway, that and Parasite Parasite Eve! Oh man, yeah, if you're a Resident Evil fanboy, but you don't want to go into Dino Crisis, Parasite Eve was the other, other alternative option. Yeah, man, I haven't thought about that game in a long time. I think it was just really into RPGs back then because they took... Oh, yeah, that was more of a kind of action RPG because it took forever to complete. More bang for your buck, absolutely. And cheers, and all the best. Oh, same to you, man. Also, excellent choices in directors, but I'd switch your Ridley Scott for Martin Scorsese. Outside of The Martian, Ridley's films have been crazy disappointing since his incredible American... Read more. Click. Gangster and Gladiator films. Tony Torres, I probably wouldn't argue too much of you on that, to be fair. And, yeah, that's a good point. Nice one. Thanks for giving me your two cents. Uh, dip Dip Potato Chip. <laughs> nice name. How are we doing for time? Oh, wait. Wait. No, we're good. Dip Dip. So I can't quite... Because my second monitor is a drawing tablet that's at a really bad angle because I basically put it away at the back of my desk. I can't quite see my timer that usually tells me when I need to wrap up. Uh, Dip Dip Potato Chip says, love you Mikey, love you too, no homo, but available. Uh, I really, really, really wish I could support you on Patreon. Oh dude, don't worry about it, you don't have to. Um, given all the things that you've already taught us for free, yeah, that's the whole point, but that I think that's part of it as well. Obviously, um, the supporters on Patreon support me for a number of reasons. Maybe they're just really kind. Maybe they just want, like, the naughty stuff that I do for them. Or maybe they just like that I personally like making free drawing tutorials. So that part of Patreon's crowd, so to speak, are totally okay with people like you. Because obviously the whole point is, if somebody can afford to support me and they want to, they do. Um, part of that is because I want to make free drawing tutorial videos without any barriers, without any pay rules for the rest of you. So yeah, no, it all seems to work out so far. Although, as ever, I'm behind on my rewards and I feel super guilty, but I did, I'm definitely working on them. Bear with. Anyway, uh, what are you saying? Um, sadly, I don't have neither the money nor the means to pay. Yeah, no, seriously, you're fine, man. Just uh, watching my videos or like commenting and stuff like that is really, really helpful. It all counts. Much love and best wishes from Brazil. Oh, and you're in Brazil. Excellent. Man, I haven't been there since I was a bambino. I need to go back. Uh, Izami Gumbada says, All right, how many Amazon employees do I have to sacrifice to be as good looking as Mikey? <laughs> No, remember, guys, it's not the employees that were the problem um, in that rant. It was, oh, except for that first woman. She had no fucking idea what was going on. Um, it's it's their method and the fact that they do it at all. I'm sure the people I speak to are just, you know, real life people living their lives and probably fine. It's f the fucking system. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've become that guy. It's the si I'm not part of your system. Guys. Oh, my God. Guys, blast from the past. This is my Mikey recommendation. I can't quite remember what the name is. I think it's it's a music video, and it's called something like Throw It On The Ground, or I Threw It On The Ground. Basically, it's a comedy music video by, um, oh fuck, I can't even remember their names. The guys behind Hot Rod and other things. Um, <laughs> actually, you know what, I'm not going to just throw stuff on the ground, basically, because I won't be part of your system. Just see the character in that, and that's where I think I'm going. Uh, that was that was a really bad... Ugh. Bloody hell. Basically, whatever I just said probably doesn't make sense, but if you watch that music video, you'll understand everything that just went through my mind while I wasn't actually communicating any of it out of my mouth. Throw it on the ground. I'm going to watch that after this. Um, Johnny Kudo says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, Johnny. There has to be a top five games for the PlayStation 1, then it's going to be Final Fantasy 7. Good. Crash Bandicoat. 
Coot, good. Gran Turismo 2, good. Twisted Metal, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Oh, make Tony Hawk great again. I feel like those last two are just overlooked, yet were monsters in their own right. Yeah, Tony Hawk's was. I did actually play that a lot. And I think, like, um... Did one of the Tony Hawk's games have, um... Is it a CKY song that goes... Guys, does anybody know what song this is? Bear with me. I'm going to get away from the microphone, just in case any of you have got headphones on. It goes... Na 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 doop 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 Oh my god, what a tune. Whatever it is. Anyway, I'm gonna have to oh fuck. I've got a lot of things to look up after doing this guys. You're all triggering my uh memories. Um wait, what were we talking about? Anyway, yeah, I think that song played on Tony Hawk's or one of the Tony Hawk skater games, because that song used to be just in my head all the time. Anyway, does anybody men remember Monster Rancher? I don't, but does anybody else, Johnny? Um, how I Art says, Dear Mikey, oh my god, How I Art, are you breaking up with me? Um, if you could sit down with any manga card to talk and draw with them, who would it be? Thanks and love your videos. How I Art, you're welcome, and love you too. You know what? Um, uh, there are loads, absolutely loads, but personally, one of them would be Kim Jong Ji. Uh, the guy who's the Korean artist who just draws from memory and does incredible work and perspective stuff. But <clears throat> the reason why I'm kind of faffing around this answer, um, Proko. Uh, if you guys don't know Proko's art channel, another massive artist on YouTube, much more of an artist than I am, if that makes sense. I'm more of like an anime illustrator. Um, but he's had an opportunity to interview Kim Jong Ji, and that video came out like only last week. So have a look at his channel. Um, and just see what the man's got to say. So that's probably it. So I've kind of had my answer, and it's almost been a cake that I could eat. I mean, I haven't met Kim Jong Ji, um, but Proko has. Uh, so there's a lot to get out of that video. Um, back up, Inoue Takihiko, probably. What about you, dude? What about you? Um, Akita Ishin says, Mikey, that Kindle rant was the funniest thing I've heard all week. Oh, God, you like the rants, do you? I had to stop drawing in order to focus on what you're saying. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. And Eunice Boscado says, Mikey, something triggered inside of me, and now I want to draw like you. I'm going to follow every lesson you've ever created from now and forever. P.S. I love your drawings. Oh, thank you very much, Eunice. That's really, really kind. Triggered! And Liam Porter says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, Liam. I'm, oh, God, my voice... Sorry, guys. I don't know. Bear with. I haven't, like, um, spoken to anybody, if that makes sense, before I start recording this. So I think my voice is all over the place. My throat feels weird. Um, wait, what are you saying? Uh, hey, Mikey, I'm doing good now, thanks. And I've been playing around with watercolours and will probably stick with Copic markers. But I do see other Copic artists on Instagram getting amazing results, but I can't seem to blend them. I don't know uh, how, what to do, any advice. Liam Porter. Again, I'm always... It's because, I think it's just because I've become so disenchanted with YouTube, even though I'm not going anywhere, don't worry, um, but I keep talking about Twitch. But there is a Twitch art streamer called uh, Tofu Senshi, or Tofu, and uh, she is a Czech streamer, but she streams in English. And she's done an actual Copic Markers course. She's like an accredited Copics teacher or something. So go on to Twitch, follow her channel, ask her, she'll give you all the info, or just watch a YouTube video that talks about Copics. Um, I've only ever had a go with the um, warm grey set, which I've got, which I do love, but um, I am not very good at blending them, to be fair. And I think, like, um, it fucks them up or doesn't make them blend properly if you try to blend a Copic marker over a pencil drawing. So, uh, yeah, I've got a lot to uh, learn myself about them. Brandon C says, uh, the super casual midweek season. Oh, God. Did I say super casual midweek season uh, last time instead of super casual midweek session? Maybe. <laughs> Series, there we go. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hopefully you guys get the point. By the way, see, I'm not lying when I'm talking about agreeing about my brain being at least 5%. Just like that other person, not quite what it used to be. Oh dear. Mike is getting old, guys. Uh, Philippe Pies says, Did you study arts or just learn by yourself? Can you give some tips? I'm trying to come back into this world, but I forgot a lot of things. Oh, Philippe, you're kind of... You used to be into art, but um, then you kind of gave it a rest and are trying to get back on board. Dude, there's no short answer to have you got any tips. You've got most of my information in a range of videos that I've made. Um, did I study art? I'm only getting... By the way, thank you very much for your question. I mean you, no disrespect. But I'm only going to give you the quick answer because it's quite a common one. Um... 
I took art at school, but to be fair, everything that I do these days, I wouldn't ne necessarily say I actually learnt from school as such. Um, I did have some arty parents, or at least a very arty mum, which certainly as a kid meant that doing art in your spare time felt normal to me and gave me the confidence to actually engage with art that maybe other people didn't have and the luxury of having. Uh, however, all of my real skills has been over the last four years, it's all self-taught and it's all thanks to the fact that I've started regularly having to do art for the sake of the YouTube channel. That really pushed me to create content, which really pushed me to get better. Um, so yeah, Felipe, get back in, get cracking. I wish you all the best. Brandon C. Oh, wait. There we go. I've gone um, up and down on the comment section. Let me just scroll down a bit. There we go. AJ's Drawing Studio says, Apologies for the drab comment, my good sir. Um, at the time I added that, I was mentally dead at work, and I said the first thing that came to mind. Don't worry, dude, I can't even remember what it was. So you're all good in my book. Um, have a great day, sir. Hashtag Hulk or crew, hashtag sip of tea, hashtag sip of bang. What, like silly bang? Bang, and the stains are gone. Bang, bang, bang. All clean. Okay, guys. So, another suggestion. Peter Serafinowitz, did I talk about this last time? Peter Serafinowitz does um, Kitchen Gun, which is a gun which makes your kitchen clean. It's fucking amazing. It's part of a comedy skit of a comedy show he had. So look that up as well. And Taco Taco says, I went back and paused the intro on a kettle. <laughs> Stop checking out my grimy life. Hashtag love you, Mikey. Love you too, dude. Hashtag no homo. Yeah, no homo, but yeah, easy going and supportive. And hashtag hardcore crew. We're a very LGBT um, positive around here. Uh, Mac and Cheezus says, happy Thanksgiving and late birthday. Keep up the good work. P.S. Spyro is so lit. Mac and Cheese, firstly, thank you. And you know what? Yeah. Like I just mentioned, I've never played Spyro on the PlayStation 1. I know it has been remade. And there is something about that. The, how to put it? that really kind of the simple good old days of just running around and jumping from platforms and collecting coins or gems in a slightly simpler you know that kind of PlayStation 164 era Spyro looks like it kind of captures some of that which is why it kind of it feels like it might be a fun game and also slightly nostalgic all at once which is kind of why I still have it on my radar I'm not sure if I'm going to no, losing my words. I'm not sure if I'm going to fork out and buy it, but I kind of think I might. Um, Breezy JE Anime says, Hey Mikey, hello Breezy. Do you have any suggestions for a Twitch server to use when streaming on OBS? Um, dude, leave seriously, leave it on default um, to the because it will default to the one which is like the server with the best connection. Um, don't try to lock it down to just because I've tried locking my OBS to the different servers in the UK. And actually was really bad for the stream. So just let it do its own thing. It's not on my Wi-Fi because when I stream on YouTube, it works well. Hmm, breezy. You might have to look at some more troubleshooting tutorials, I think it's, sir. Uh, and Mad Ho, lovely name, says, Mikey, can you please make a tutorial for Zed from League of Legends? Maybe. Do you mean like a draw simple easy? I'm just going to pop that on the list. There we go. And Betty Play. <laughs> Belly play. Is that like a porn search? Says, Mikey, can you do a tutorial on how to draw love.randolin? Who else agrees? Uh, it looks like nobody agrees with you, but I'll add that to the list as well. I don't know who that is, but I'm just going to pop that in the notepad file. I'm just kind of quickening up, guys, because I think we're pretty much coming to the end of this episode. Ikidus38 says, you got Akali right the second to last time. Oh, God. Whatever it is, I know I'm saying it wrong. I, I'm sorry, guys. Still loving your content, mate. Thank you, man. And I was, um, I was a fan from the PS1 age. Oh, and it wasn't on the PlayStation 1, but Donkey Kong 64 is my favourite of that time. Ah! You know what? I was never a Donkey Kong boyo. Um, obviously, I was into that Mario thing. Massive, I mean, who isn't? Massive Ocarina of Time guy. Um, and then it was all about Goldeneye and the N64 of your mates. Have I said this before? I might have already. Um, I used to do classical guitar um, for a fair while when I was younger. And then on a Friday, I took lessons as part of a guitar trio, which eventually became a guitar quartet. Yeah, that's right. And um, at the end of those lessons, when there was quite a few of us, my guitar teacher, he was like, he was a secret fucking murderer when it came to Goldeneye on 64. That man was a stone cold fucking assassin. So we used to play loads of multiplayer Goldeneye and he still used to beat us, man. We And we were good because I had it myself at my house. But oh man, he used to do you. They were really good times on a Friday before like, so come home from school, You'd have time to chuck some food down your throat. This is my life on a Friday when I was a kid. And then I'd stick my controller in my guitar case, 
grab my guitar, go up and have a guitar lesson for an hour, and then for about 15 minutes the end, we'd play, we'd all play deathmatch with my guitar teacher, come home again, drop it off, get changed, and then, you know, try to get into pubs and stuff. Oh, good times. Wait. No, 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 not not pubs. I was too young back then. Um, house parties and just going drinking and stuff like that. I was definitely drinking, but I wasn't quite slipping into places. Uh, and Deadpool Deadpool says, Muy buenos tu dibujo. Ah, gracias, amigo, gracias. Um, okay, guys, I think we are out of time. Again, I can't quite see the timer, so I'm trying to calculate what makes a video roughly an hour long. Guys, thank you so much for commenting. I can see that we've had loads of comments in the last episode because I'm still scrolling and there are still loads. So let me just say, if I've not read your comment this time around, I'm awfully sorry, but if you've got something important to tell me, Copy it, paste it into the comment section below. If any luck, I'll grab it next time. And just a great big hello. Much love to a lot of you. Thank you so much. And most importantly, if... Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need to definitely warm up before I do this. Most importantly of all, but I won't. You know that I never will because it's so casual around here. Most importantly of all, I'm getting to it. A great big thank you to my delicious patrons on Patreon. I am catching up. We're getting there. So let's do a great big shout out to some of those. I mean, you're seeing names on screen right now. Fantastic. But an extra big shout out to some of those fantastic people from the November crew, including Fabio, you delicious man. Smooth Kiminal. I like what you've done there for your name. Uh, Kamadar L. I've only said L because I think maybe that's your actual name and I don't want to give out your surname, but thank you so much. Gabriel C. You, sir, are just... Um, so supportive on my Patreon and uh, really communicative with other people. I do appreciate that. Breton F, I hope you're doing bloody well, good sir. Epic Cara, still in it. Namuditor, hello mate. Matteo E, thank you so much for the support. Joshua H, you fantastic individual. Andrew E, I hope you're as handsome as I hear you are. And Hamongchi L, dude, still about. Thank you so much, dude. You're always supporting me as well. Like, there are a few names like I just keep recognising. I have done for so long and so long and so long. Don't think like. Don't think I just clean the slate of my memory every single month and say hello to you guys. Like, thank you so much for all your continued support, especially whilst I'm a little bit in and out with my uploading, getting things wrapped up. But I am playing catch up. Don't worry. I'm not going to let anything go and skip anything. I'm just forcing myself to make sure we're all caught up. So we're up to November. Uh, Zenith6, dude, how the devil are you? And Zahaki, you fantastic highest tier patrons of my experimental crew, which is tough because it means you suffer the most. When I get out, or get the Patreon rewards when I'm doing them on time, uh, the experimental guys uh, usually get theirs a little bit later because I'm usually adding a load of really weird shit that I'm trying to draw in the background as well. Um, but guys, thank you so much for all of the support. It's absolutely fantastic of you. Um, and oh no, that's it. I think we're wrapped up for the episode. <laughs> I didn't have any questions. Damn it. Did we? No, I didn't have any questions. In a very general sense, how are you guys? Are there any plans for Christmas? What are you up to? Get yourself in the comment section for next time around. And as ever, don't forget that you've got to check out that post of the Sonic because it makes me laugh at just how, how wrong it is and how it's exactly what nobody asked for. Other than that, have yourselves a bloody lovely week and I'll see you next time. Take care.